Here, your answer to that is, well, I just want something that is worth a grain of salt and has an ability to... What's going on everybody? Today's Tuesday. Uh, just got finished that little warm up. Um, five two minute rounds, um, 10 cal row, 10 strict handstand push ups. Kind of like a warm up pace, but it's short enough and I'm bad enough at strict handstand push ups that um, you do have to push it a little bit, but kind of similar to the pistol handstand push up thing I did in the last video, um, which was a really good warm up. And I was gonna do that again today, but um, I did a crap load of pistols yesterday, so. Um, anyway, for the workout today, we are doing Amanda. I'm super hyped. Um, I've been wanting to redo this one for a while. I think I did it on this channel before, but the video was kind of messed up. Yeah, I'm hoping to smash my old time. Wasn't that great. Um, for what I could do at the time, it was pretty good, but um, today I'm gonna try to go like sub eight, I think. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna try to push the pace. I think I might go for unbroken on the muscle ups. Um, and then hopefully string together a couple touch and go sets on the snatches. So yeah, um, before we get into that though, I'm gonna do something with clean and jerk. I might go for heavy single because I PR'd my snatch and whenever I PR one of my lifts, I always wanna give the other one a go. And it felt pretty easy last time, so Hopefully I can nail the clean and jerk on 275 today or maybe even get 285. We'll see. Um, and then I have some stuff to do when I get home too. I don't remember what it is at all, but uh, yeah, that'll be after all this stuff.
All right, uh, well, some good and bad things came out of this morning. Um, I hit a really good 265 for clean and jerk, and then I hit a pretty ugly clean at 275 and missed the jerk again, which is kind of annoying, but I'm all right with it because I'm squatting way less right now than I was last time I hit 265 and clean 275. Um, so that's good. I'm still getting sh stronger, at least maintaining strength while squatting less. Um, but yeah, I just need to keep squatting more. Um, I'm, I feel like I'm moving pretty well. I don't know. I've never had the problem before where I fall into my knees, but I've been having that a lot recently. Um, it has to do with me jumping back, um, after, I make contact, which is okay if you just do it a little bit. Um, and if the bar is going straight up or coming backwards a little bit, but when it gets really heavy and I hit it out a little bit and also jump back, I catch it too far in front of me and I fall on my knees or I do what happened in the 275 clean where I, it's not heavy for me to stand 275 up if I'm balanced right, but when it's in front of me and I'm kind of chasing it forward the whole time, uh, that's why it looked like that. So yeah, not, um, no PRs or anything like that. Um, but still good day, got some stuff out of it. And then we got to Amanda, super happy about that. Um, my old time was 9.15 and I finished in 6.25 today. Only thing I would have done differently is maybe done some more touch and go sets on the snatches, um, but I just wanted to keep my heart rate down. Um, but I did keep all the muscle ups unbroken, which was um, something I was kind of thinking about before that. I didn't know if I wanted to, but um, managed to keep them unbroken and still keep the snatches at a good pace. I was doing fast singles the whole time when I wasn't doing touch and go, uh, but I think I would have thrown in a couple more sets of touch and go in there if I did it again. I'm going to head home now, I'm going to get into some squat waves and a uh, strict chest bar workout that I'll explain when I get there. All right, um, we're home and about to start these squat waves. Um, it's basically five, three, one, three times. Um, the percentages go up every time. Whatever you did for the one um, in the previous wave is what you're going to do for the three. And whatever you did for the three is what you're going to do for the five in the next wave. Um, I've been doing these for two weeks maybe now um but basically just got back into it um happy to be squatting more again um i think the heaviest it gets on this set is one at 90 percent, which is like 340 uh for me or something so not crazy heavy or anything but um yeah it's just good to get weight moving and then for the metcon it's 10 down to one i believe um, it'll be on the screen anyway, but I'm pretty sure it's 10 down to one of strict chest to bar and uh, ring push-ups. Yeah, that should be a good one. Um, I love doing strict chest to bar. I don't do them in Metcons a lot. Um, I do them as accessory. Just helps with everything um, in the shoulder area, especially if uh, when it starts to bug me, I just start doing strict chest to bar more and it just goes away. So yeah, that's about it. Let's get into it. All right, squat waves are done. Uh, felt pretty good. Um, everything was moving well. Um, I'm gonna get into this workout now. I've actually never done ring push-ups before, uh, but they're pretty fun. I just did a couple. They, I thought they'd be harder than they are actually. 
Um, I might be regretting saying that once I'm towards the end of this workout, but uh, yeah, should be a good one. Um, I like doing stuff on the rings because you get all the extra like stabilizer muscles, which helps with everything like jerks and anything overhead. Um, and it just protects your joints more, so um, helps prevent injury. Should be a good one. My arms are probably gonna be blown up after this. See you guys on the other side. Let's do it. All right, real quick, uh, just check the workout just to make sure, and it's 10 down to one of strict chest bar, but the ring push-ups are 20 down to two, down by twos. Um, so yeah, the ring push-ups definitely are gonna get pretty hard, so. Okay, yeah, the ring push-ups got hard. Um, did not break them, which is good. Um, I would've been pretty mad if I did, but. but yeah, hope you guys liked today's video. Um, pretty good day. I'm super happy with how Amanda went, and I'm already super excited to do it again. Um, not for a while, obviously, but yeah. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, send this to all your friends. Um, we're approaching 100 subscribers. Uh, I might be doing a little giveaway for that but uh yeah see you guys next time